If you're traveling to a golf course that has a little bit of rise of elevation, stick around. This video is for you to help calculate what that elevation is going to do to your golf game. As a general rule, for every thousand feet of elevation that you're going to travel to, you should add about one and a half to two percent, or should I say subtract, from your yardage or your club. So let's not get too confused. Here's the, here's the math. For every thousand feet, you're going to add about one and a half to two percent to the yardage you normally hit. I've got a seven iron here bad back recently, some other injuries. I'm hitting this about 145, 146. I happen to be about 156 to the first hole here at Macklemore with my layup shot. This would normally be a six considering the tool chest I have right now, but because I'm 2300 feet above sea level, I can take roughly 146, what's 1% 1 of that, 1.4, what's 2% of that, 2.8, you know, I'm going to add three to four yards to this, and I'm literally 150 carry to the middle. So if I take that club based on the calculation, I should be able to hit it and hit the yardage that I'm looking for. A little off balance, a little to the left, but I definitely hit the shot that I was looking for, that 150 shot that normally would not have happened with, with this club, but it did because I calculated the elevation. If you need more help understanding how elevation is gonna affect you playing anywhere in the world, contact me below, leave the questions there, ring the bell when you subscribe, I'll be more than happy to help you. As a matter of fact, I'm more than happy to help you improve your golf skills. Come on back.